Today I'm throwing fruit pole in a clay called anthracite, which I got a test bag of before and I've just ordered um, about another 100 kilos. Uh, it's this lovely dark brown stoneware. When it's bisked, it's a bit greyer and I kind of wish it kept the greyness and didn't go quite so brown. But um, it looks really nice with those glazes over. You get a bit more contrast in the peacock eyes and just generally really nice to throw. So, because I only had a test bag before, I haven't thrown anything big, um, and now I've got enough, I'm gonna do just a small fruit bowl. So this is um, 1.2 kilos of clay, and the anthracite throws an awful lot like my usual clay, which is KGM uh, body, white stoneware really nice, well, generally a really nice clay. Recently it's been a bit groggier and significantly less fun to throw, but for the most part, both really nice, very smooth, a little bit of grog so they don't crack when drying and can generally take a bit more abuse always good but um, you can burnish them to basically a mirror shine and they keep that when fired so really nice it's a bit more expensive than the KGM but all the darker decent clays seem to be by the day. Either that or this clay just sticks a bit more. I've got a scut ordered, which in theory should be arriving in the UK any day now, but um, that was all pre-corona, so not actually sure. The other really nice thing about this clay compared to some of the other dark clays that I've thrown with before is that it actually doesn't make that much more of a mess. Quite often the high manganese ones will just stain everything they touch. My bats are all a different colour, my sponges are a different colour, in fact now it's sort of worn off now. I bought another one at the same time got a test bag of and is one of the high manganese staining ones. It's just horrible. Horrible to throw and then ruins everything it touches. Whereas this is just an ever so slightly darker version of normal clays. At the moment I can't find any fault with it. Other than the only thing that counts against it at the moment is that um, the delivery charge is quite high. I'm used to getting my clay from one supplier who have cheap or free delivery depending on how much you order. And the company that sells this is just down the road from me, but um, I can't go and collect at the moment. So I ordered 100 kilos and spent probably a third the total order cost with shipping to be driven half an hour, which is a little bit annoying, but um, probably not the most annoying aspect of coronavirus. done it 
you get already. I'm going to put up a video and maybe something else about the foot tool uh, with a YouTube discount, which will get you 10% off anything in the shop. delivery for those is the same price I had to put it up for larger things because a lot of the delivery companies have just stopped trading for now so generally everything's being sent priority just because there's no option anymore but um, smaller things I can still send with Royal Mail so it still works yeah really like this clay experimenting with it um, might find that it's not as reliable to fire as mine but from the initial pieces I think it probably is lovely colour throws really well and isn't even that expensive <laughs> <laughs>